I think one of the missing pieces is definitely to have a, what we call a code of conduct, how to best um, organize between all the parties on the ground. So I think, you know, in a lot of these disasters, anywhere in the world, we see drones being used more and more, but there's no real coordination between all the NGOs or the local players. And there's also, after a disaster, there's already, you know, a lot of panic, a lot of, a lot of fear, a lot of uncertainty what's going on. So having drones fly around is possibly not always a positive effect on top of that. So to have a, a way of acting in a, in a, in a uh, I would say in a, in a socially responsible way, uh, to have a code of conduct that actually tells you how should you act in, in, uh, in moments like that using emerging technologies like drones is a missing piece today that we try to work on. Let me pick up on that code of conduct. This is something that, that um, We Robotics first established back in 2013, I believe, in the aftermath of Typhoon Haiyan. And you've continued to evolve this document, if you will. How has the conversation shifted as we've seen the technology advance and the use of it also increase? I think the conversation shifts from, you know, in 2013, it was more just about flying out after a disaster. And now the conversation is really shifting to how to use the data, what to use the data, how to share the data, how to responsibly and securely also uh, use the data. So it has shifted more from just flying an object to actually the outcome of the object, which is data. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.